Hi friend, how are you? It's Crazy Quilty March and today I'm Pat Sloan. I'm Pat Sloan every day. <laughs> but today is on our calendar. We're on Wednesday. What is it? The 25th. 25 challenges you've been introduced to. And looking on here, we have got 25 is tidying up and I put kits. So I wanted to put a focus of kits on the tidy up today. And the reason why is that they tend to get a little, um, I think a little shuffled up. We The other day, one of the other challenges, we were looking at kits, uh, and it might be kits that you purchased, already done up, or kits that you put together yourself. You know, you, you found a pattern and you put the fabric. I consider like the whole realm of kits, things you have not started yet, but you've got them packaged up. So they do have to have a pattern and fabric to be what I call a kit. <laughs> A kit and uh, but you might uh, have not started them yet those qualify and ones that you have started and ones that you're actually working on so what I want you to do is find one that needs tidying up when you looked at them the other day or maybe when you're actually working on one right now you may have noticed that one of them looked a bit like you're like oh what is in there uh, and, and just went like I'm just not dealing with it right now well today Go get that one out and spend 10 minutes. Just get the stuff out of the bin and maybe just fold, refold it, sort it back up, put it back in, see what's in there, see if everything is there, see if something's missing, see if something that shouldn't be in there is in there. Uh, it happens. It totally happens. Um, <laughs> so what I did is I got out one of my kits <laughs> and it's an old, it's a sew along that I started, but then uh, got derailed. <laughs> it happens. And so it's called Be My Neighbor. And I love these blocks, which are big giant blocks, big giant house blocks. And a lot of you have finished it. Uh, all the patterns are free. They were designed by Moda and they're over on my website. Uh, so I want to show you first my kit. So what happened was these blocks are large and, and I have quite a few done. So they got bulky. And as I was going along, mine are done in Christmas fabrics. And I was going along, I kept, you know, building a stash of Christmas fabric to pull from so that all the blocks have a lot of unity and they look, you know, they look good together because they're using pretty much the same fabric pull. Uh, and this bin got so full of the fabric that I'm working with that the blocks did not fit in there. So what did I do? Because I'm a quilter, <laughs> and I like containers. Do you like containers? Who else? Who else? Oh, my goodness. Oh, give me a good container. Um, so here is the other container. So that means I have the blue box and this devoted to this project. Now, this is not full, but I looked in here, and it's like way fuller than what should just be the box. So I'm like, what the heck is in here? Do I have fabric in here too? And why do I have so much fabric? How many blocks do I have left? And do I need all this fabric for it? Or can I sort of move some of that out and maybe possibly get most of it, in, get all of it in one bin or the other? Maybe it all, you know, it could probably all go in here. Um, so let me, let me show you. See here, I just pulled out, here's a whole handful of fabric. It's like, that should be in the fabric one. More fabric. So here are some of the blocks. They're big. So let's see, let me give you, show you a really cute one. So here's one, look how cute they are. And I have them all have the black and white polka dot and they all have this mini black and white dot background. And they're Christmas fabrics that I've collected and, and I just love, love, love them. So I will today, as my challenge, because I will take a little few minutes. Here's another one. Here's one in the aqua houses. Looks like a castle to me. Maybe because I lived in Europe so much. Everything looks like a castle. Oh, it looks like I, I put a whole section together. So it must be on the next row. I don't even, maybe there's one block on that row, probably. So, wee! Oh my goodness, I still love this. I love it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take a look at what's actually in the two bins, how many blocks are actually left, and then I might go ahead and pull the fabric, you know, with a few options so that I have less fabric saved, and then I should be able to get everything in one bin. 
Okay, so I'm just looking in here. I see there's actually a different project underneath these houses. Because what I had done is in this blue bin here so that I would not panic because this is my fear. My fear was that I didn't have the blocks in here and I would have this huge panic attack of where are the blocks. So I made this note. <laughs> and I don't have that many storage things, so it may seem like it, but compared to some of your studios I've seen and your workspaces, I am like a slacker. I don't have enough. Uh, so I put a note in there. So I have the note. So I knew where they were. So I am going to look at, I'll probably put them up on the wall and I'll take a picture today on Wednesday and, and share them out at my Facebook group um, and show you what they look like. Uh, I do still love it. I really would actually like to run it again, uh, these houses with, um, here I'll hold one up while I'm talking. So I'd love to run these houses again and use like a different fabric. I started out doing a different fabric that then I, I, couldn't, I couldn't maintain two. I didn't even finish one. So, but I think it'd be fun to do it again. Uh, so if that interests you, maybe we'll we'll do that sometime later later in the year, uh, if you're interested. And I'll link it to the patterns. It's on my website. If I I love to make quilts, you can just see the be my neighbor when you scroll down. There's that table with all the different different things. Well, it's because it's Wednesday, there's two 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 mints in one. Was it two 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 mints in one? I have to go look that up. That commercial was it Trident. <laughs> So I have Block Wednesday, and we have got Matchbox Cars as the childhood game. I have brothers, and so I love Matchbox Cars. And, of course, I married a guy who had brothers as well, and so we have Matchbox Cars from his childhood. Uh, so here is the uh, block for Block Wednesday. Yeah, so, so fun. Uh, and that is out on my website. If you've gotten the newsletters, you will get the notice um, around lunchtime for that one. Uh, so it goes out for Block Wednesday, usually around noonish. Um, it fires from the website. So, but you can always go right, right there. And I've posted it out, and it's already live. <laughs> so you could take a look. But I just love, I love that block. I have the ex the bonus in there is to make like a table runner. So you could do like three of them. But we have actually today, uh, I have two things out, and one is from my blog, uh, and that is with the Ulfa and Orifil. They do a slice challenge, and so I am representing Ulfa this time, and I got to play with the Ulfa chenille cutter, and this is my project. So that is posted up there with directions on how to do this and how I did the chenille. So here, I'll do up close so you can see it. So I used Bonnie Lane, and this is the lightest pink from the line, and the greens, everything on here is from Bonnie Lane. And uh, I loved doing it in the peach. But what I did, and you'll see, um, I tell you about it, is I decided that I would applique before, over top of it being chenilled. So when you chenille, you'll sew lines, and then you'll take the cutter and you'll cut all, it's, it's like stacked, like six layers or something. I can't remember how many. I didn't read it before I got on here. So it might be six layers, and then the bottom layer you don't cut. You cut all the other ones, and it makes this nice texture. And the more that you wash a chenille, then the more sort of fluffy it gets. So what I decided is I wanted to applique. I wanted to put these sweet tulips on here on the giant pillow, but I did not want uh, to have to chenille up to them and between them. I mean, that would just be, I would have to be doing crazy stuff. I mean, the cutter wouldn't go in between. So what I did is I chenilled the whole pillow before I applique. Then what I did is I put down the, uh, here, I'll just hold it like this. It's tr tricking the camera with the lighting, so it's making it dark. Uh, so what I did is I chenilled the whole thing, and then I applique this, but I did not wash the chenille. So the chenille was pretty flat. Uh, so underneath, if you touch this, you can feel the ridges of the chenille under there. So after I um, applied it and stitched it, then I washed the whole pillow. And I did this one by hand. So I sort of put it in the sink and I took a wet wash rag and I sort of roughed up all this stuff like this to give it a little bit more texture. Um, I would absolutely love to do a whole quilt um, and just 
mean, it's a little time consuming, but the chenille cutter is pretty quick and it's just super darn nifty. It's got a dial and, and it is so well thought out. The awful people are just like, Mwah. they just know exactly, exactly how to do those things. They make fabulous tools. I forgot to bring it up here to show you, stand here with the cutter, but it's on the website. So, whoop. So that is a second project for today. So how many of you done chenille? Who's done chenille? Um, you know, I think it goes in and out of, uh, you know, being a lot of people see it and do it and they're like, boo, everybody does chenille and then it falls away and because it's a little bit time consuming, but it, so is all quilting. It just gives that, it just feels so cozy that I want to do the, a whole, uh, like a lap quilt because I've never uh, done one. I've, you know, I've done just some little projects like this. So that's on my bucket list of quilting projects. <laughs> it's, I've never done a rag quilt either. So no, I've never done one. <laughs> so I just think, did I do one? No, I've done maybe a square or something. I did the technique, you know, just to sew it to see, but no, I've never done a rag quilt. They just get cozy, you know, with all the washing and everything. I think I might need some flannel too to put on it. <clears throat> so tell me if you've done any chenille. Uh, if you're not subscribed while you're here, go down, down, down at YouTube and hit that subscribe and then click the bell because you get a notice. And I thank you very much for hanging out with me on these dailies, <laughs> which we're going to do in April again. On the weekend, this coming weekend, I will do the April calendar and challenge list. Uh, you guys have given me fabulous ideas if you're on Facebook or if you want to leave a comment here about a challenge idea, a daily challenge, remember. It's something I have to be able to produce in like a 10, 15 minute <clears throat> video. Leave the message down here. I love you. Have a wonderful day. See you later.